What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and Chuck Wendig, failed Star Wars author and honestly basically a failed human being at this point, just doesn't know when to stop. He continues opening his mouth to take the L time and time again. Imagine being so bad, imagine being so stupid, you managed to get fired from Disney Star Wars. That's about as pathetic as it gets and that's exactly what happened to Chuck Wendig, not for his opinion, but for literally wishing death upon people on Twitter. That's what he got fired for. But he's really upset that other people are now getting opportunities with Disney, that other people are continuing to get opportunities with Star Wars. And what is he mad about? Of course, it's Gina Carano. Chuck Wendig whines about Gina Carano because it's just not fair that Chuck Wendig got fired and she still has a job simply for stating opinions, not for wishing death upon people. But let's get into what really set him off to begin with. It's this IGN tweet. The Mandalorian seems to be setting up a New Republic spin-off series, and Cara Dune could be at its center. Now, this is not the first time we've talked about this. We've talked about potential for a spin-off before a Cara Dune spin-off series. I don't know if, if, if I really believe that that is happening, that that is in the works. We know they have a lot of stuff going on at Disney and at Star Wars as far as these side projects go. And basically, we anything I'm kind of going to wait till I see more concrete evidence but there is not a doubt in anyone's mind that what they did in her episode of the Mandalorian near the end really set up to take that story into the future whether that's setting up in the future of the Mandalorian or potentially like this article states a spin-off show uh, set around the New Republic having Gina Carano kind of teen up with the New Republic come back to the New Republic like she was before and maybe take some kind of role there maybe it's helping to clean up the outer room him, who knows what it could potentially be? I know that there's a lot of people that'd be very supportive of that because they like Gina Carano as an actress. They like Cara Dune as a character. But that's not really what we're going to talk about today. And as you can see, there's a bunch of weirdos in, in the comments that don't want this to happen because they're just too triggered that someone has a different opinion than them. But Chuck Wendig, Chuck Wendig got really upset about this and really bitter. And I think it makes sense. Chuck Wendig, she's lucky she wasn't mean and vulgar to conservatives online, or boy, howdy, she'd be out of a job. Am I right? Sideways glance. Let's take a look at what Chuck Wendig said. Chuck Wendig, again, the failed Star Wars author who was employed by Star Wars, wrote one of the worst imaginable books in history, Take a, let alone that it's a Star Wars book. The fact that the dialogue that he used was in there, that he described the TIE fighter, the TIE went wibbly-wobbly. Herkily jerkily. These are words you use, Chuck Wendig. That alone should be enough to get you fired off of the project. But no, they kept you around for a long time until you said something so absolutely stupid that they couldn't keep you on anymore. Because let's be real. Disney Star Wars, Lucasfilm, these people, you're the type of person that fits right in there, aren't you? Uh, but this is what you said. Uh, this is from Disney Star Wars is Dumb, by the way, Itchy Baka. It's where I got this just for reference. I'll put a link in the description below. No, Chuck, you weren't just being mean and vulgar. You were telling your political opposition to throw themselves into a wood chipper. Let's review one of the few tweets you've ever deleted once again. And he did delete this, which, you know, it, it tells you that he did do something wrong. All of, your, all of what you're feeling is normal. What's happening isn't. It's okay to be sad. It's essential to be mad. It may even be necessary to step away from this for a little while and breathe. Drink tea. Find peace. Get clear. Then renew your fury. Weaponize your grief and fight. P.S. GOP, throw yourselves into a wood chipper. And, you know, there's not much. There is not much that, uh, that Lucasfilm doesn't let their people get away with. Telling people to go kill themselves, telling people to commit violence upon themselves, is that thing. That is the line that Disney doesn't want their people crossing. And when it's someone like Chuck Wendig, who, let's face it, isn't liked, nobody likes his work, no one buys his work, he's a trash author and a trash human being, and Disney let him go after that. Uh, I am all for people having their opinions, and I'll criticize those opinions when they put them out there, just like we did with Pedro Pascal, but Disney has a line. This evidently is the line, telling people to go throw themselves in the wood chipper. That's what happened to Chuck Wendig, and it hasn't really gotten any better for him. This is why he is so bitter. Uh, shout out to Sophia Narwitz for, for alerting me to this. Uh, Sophia Narwitz says, Chuck Wendig wants people to read Chuck Wendig's next novel. 
And I thought this was interesting. It's, it's from Polygon, right? Read a chilling passage from Chuck Wendig's new novel. Then I realized this article was written by Chuck fucking Wendig. Look at this. I even went to the article itself. This is on Polygon. Read a chilling passage from Chuck Wendig's new novel, The Book of Accidents. Literally has to shill his own stuff because no one else will do it. It is written. This article is written by Chuck Wendig. He can't find one person in the world to read his dumbass book and then write an article about it. He has to do it himself. How absolutely pathetic is that? And it makes sense that he then would go ahead and be upset at Gina Carano, would be jealous about everything that Gina Carano has done. Uh, please don't mock Chuck Wendig. Uh, and we're not going to read all this because this is trash. This is exactly what we were talking about. This is really the one that ever keeps everyone uh, laughing at him. The tie wibbles and wobbles in the air, careening drunkenly across the mirror rooftops. It zigzags, herkily jerkily, out of sight. Uh, there you go. This is the person they decided to start writing the first big trilogy of Disney Star Wars books after they got rid of the expanded universe. Uh, the dude is an absolute nutcase. And when you compare what Chuck Wendig said, keep in mind, telling people, telling uh, elected officials... Uh, to go harm themselves physically, to commit violence upon themselves. Let's take a look at the, the evil things that Gina Carano has said. Should we look at these? Should we look at these evil things? These are the worst things, mind you. The worst things they can pull up that she said. In a world where everyone wears a mask, it's a privilege to see a soul. Harmful, that is, isn't it? Uh, breaking news. Democratic government leaders now recommend we all wear blindfolds along with masks so we can't really see what's going on. Now, that is pretty partisan, to be fair. Uh, that is pretty partisan. It's something that Lucasfilm has been okay with their people doing, uh, whether it be on the left or on the right. Virtually everyone is on the left. Uh, but you, you had that meme. She joined Parlor. Oh my gosh, that's the same as telling people to go kill themselves. Gina Carano, we need to clean up the election process so we're not left feeling the way we do today. Not endorsing a political candidate. Simply stating this, put laws in place to protect us against voter fraud, investigate every state, film the county, flush out fake votes, require voter ID, make voter fraud end in 2020. That's all. Not saying that anyone needs to go die, not anything like this. And then, of course, you have this lie, this transphobic garbage that people keep spreading about her, right? That people continue to spread all the harassment from Data Racer. We have seen that time and time again, and it, it doesn't end there. It is still going on in this IGN thread. There are these absolute losers, these freaks out there with pronouns in their bios, right, that want her gone that want her out on the street simply for not putting her pronouns in her bio that's insane they're mad because i won't put pronouns in my bio to show my support for trans lies after months of harassing me in every way i decided to put three very controversial words in my bio beep bop boop i'm not against trans lives at all they need to find less abusive representation so the farce of Chuck Wendig trying to equate what Gina Carano says to what he's getting fired for is ridiculous. They are completely separate things, Chuck. You know that, and you're fucking desperate. You are desperate to get back to where you were, as anyone can clearly tell, because you're literally have to shill your own stuff. You have to write articles about your book because no one is interested in it. You are a joke, Chuck Wendig. Uh, the reason you were fired is because Disney has a line and you went over that line very clearly. You cannot compare yourself to what Gina Carano is saying and her opinions based on what you said. There is no comparison. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching everyone, and a huge shout out to my patrons, I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well, and I'll talk to you guys later.